Hi everyone, this is Marissa from Flux VFX, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on the painting project. I've been getting a lot of requests asking how to make the video longer before it turns into a painting. It's actually quite simple, and I'll show you how to do that. So here we are in scene four, and there are a couple of things at work here when it comes to freezing the video. In a couple of different comps, we have a freeze frame applied um, and a time remapping effect. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the timeline. Uh, you'll see the layer replace video 04. And keep in mind that this can be repeated on any of the scenes. We're just gonna uh, do scene four for this example. So if you hit U on your keyboard, it'll bring up your uh, the keyframes that are applied to this layer. As you can see, there's a time remap effect and our keyframes start from zero and go to two and then stop. And that's where our painting effect comes in. So if we wanna make this longer, let's say four seconds, let's go over here to our time and let's type in four zero zero to go to four seconds. Let's extend this timeline, I mean, sorry, this layer so we moved our keyframe over to uh, the four second mark and we want to double click and type in again four zero zero and that will give us four seconds. So now if we solo this layer, oh, let's move our opacity keyframes down as well. So the video is still playing and we have our um, image ink reveal layer you might want to move that down too. So now it's playing for a lot longer. And then you have the reveal. So let's unsolo that so we can see all of our layers. And if you scroll down, you'll see everything show up. So with the we have two other reveals going on here. The video outline uh, needs to be uh, changed as well. So let's right click and open composition. Select your layer and hit U. Because this is a freeze frame, you don't really need to move the keyframe around. We're just gonna double click it and type in 400 for four seconds. So it's gonna freeze frame at four seconds. Let's go back to scene four and go to the layer called Video Splatter Reveal 04. So in this one, we want to select the Replace Video layer, hit U, and as you can see, it's pretty much a freeze frame. So if you go down to about the four second mark, move your keyframe over, double click, type 400. So now it should be at the four second mark, it'll, this is where our still frame is. Let's go back to scene four. And let's select their video outline layer. Then you wanna hit shift and select all the way up to layer six, which is the image ink reveal. And move these guys down a little. So that way, your video is playing, it's playing, it's playing. And these might need to come in a little bit sooner. There we go. So you just gotta move this group of key uh, layers around so that it kind of matches up with this image ink reveal, which is sort of an alpha mat for the video layer. So it's kind of cutting it out. So when it cuts out, you want to see the, um, the outline underneath it to give it that effect. So I hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, you can email me and I will try to explain better. Um, so I think that's it. Just curving through and there it is. Awesome. All right. So you go to your um, final composition you may need to make these 
a little bit longer. And uh, the way you can do that is see this layer called Drawing Ink Reveal. Hang on, let me see. Okay. That is sort of like a transition that's happening. So as you can see right now, we're on uh, four in the final comp. And then our con, oh, I have a missing layer there. So just kind of ignore that if you can. Then our drawing ink reveal, our transition comes up. So you may want to move that down and move all the other layers underneath it down too. So scene five and its reveal transition layer, you might want to move it down. So it plays a little bit longer. And hit U and move these last group of keyframes down as well because that um, is kind of their how they animate and they also fade out so if you want this to play longer there it is and there it goes and there it is so you would repeat that process with in the final composition with each scene and the layer called drawing ink reveal which is its transition so you would just hit U on your keyboard. Grab these last bit of keyframes, move them down in the timeline. Extend your layer. Move this guy down. Then you would move the rest of these over as well. If you want your video to be longer. And that's it, I think. Hopefully that made sense. Like I said before, if you get lost or confused, you can email me and I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can. Thanks a lot.